Good morning, family and friends of Life Center Academy. Right now, I'm coming to you so that we can join in prayer for our day, for our country, for our school, as we begin this journey of doing something in a different way than any of us are used to. You know my heart. You know that I would love to be standing in front of you right now. And just because we're not there together does not mean that we can't pray for each other and love each other. For those of you who are my YouTube subscribers who've just signed on to have some good math lessons, I invite you to also pray along. The best part of being a teacher at Life Center Academy is that I do get to share with my students the things in their lives that are bothering them or the things in their lives that they need help with or their joys or the things that they're happy about or praising God about. So I don't want to neglect to do that with them. So I invite you as a YouTube audience to join us in prayer for anything that we have need of today. So if you could just tune out, remove distractions for a couple minutes, and just join us as we pray for our day. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for each one of my students and their families, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are in control and that you love us so much that you sent your son to die and to, to live again for us. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for each and every person, Lord, that's listening right now and praying along. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, because you've got a plan and a purpose for each one. We thank you, Lord, that even in the midst of all the things that are happening, that you know every detail of what people are thinking and feeling. You know their fears, you know their doubts, and we thank you that we can come to you together and we can trust you to give us answers, Lord God. Lord, I pray for the health and the strength of every family and every person in my classes, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for that one who has a family member who's struggling with cancer right now, Lord God, and I pray for that family member, Lord. I pray for healing, that you'll touch them, Lord God. I pray for my student that is asking on a regular basis to pray about anxiety, Lord, but I know that there's not just one. I just pray, Lord God, for anybody right now who's facing anxiety, Lord, whether it be because of this coronavirus or for anything else, I pray, Lord God, that you bring them the peace that passes all understanding. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you are the one that can give us peace in the times of trouble, Lord. I pray, Lord God, for those that have things going on in their lives that make the world seem like it's overwhelming right now. And I pray, Lord God, for peace to settle in upon them, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for those that are facing any kind of financial difficulties, Lord God, that you would help them, Lord, help them to navigate these times, Lord God. I pray for wisdom for our leadership, for our, our president, for our congressmen, for our senators, for our state and local governments, Lord God. You tell us that we're supposed to pray for our leaders, so I pray for them and I ask, Lord, that you would give them the wisdom that they need to be able to lead our country and our localities well, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you would bring peace into these situations, Lord, and into these hearts, Lord God. Jesus, I pray, Lord God, for the person who's uh, dad has a medical difficulty right now, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you would bring healing and love and support, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for just all of the things that we have need of for the day. I pray for a good day for all of us. I pray, Lord God, for those that are nervous, Lord, about how they're going to continue to learn and, and to grow and to fellowship and what they're going to do about all these things, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that step by step, day by day, that we would all figure these things out together, Lord. I pray, Lord, for your love to envelop all of us. I pray, Lord God, for your joy to come in at times that we don't even expect it, that we would be able to find things out about people that are good things, that you would help us to love one another better. And I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.